We're an international couple who's been together for 10 years. I'm a true Korean, and Artie here is from France. We couldn't be more different, but we've managed to make it work. Who is the luckiest guy in the world? You. Who is the luckiest girl? Ara. <laughs> wow. Ara. Being an international couple is harder than it seems. We've overcome cultural differences, long distances, and personality clashes to be together for a decade. We've stuck to 10 key principles that have kept our relationship strong, and we want to share them with you, especially for our online friends who have only experienced short-term relationships. First, here's our long-term relationship secret that surprises everyone. We always shower or bathe together. You know how couples sometimes end up feeling more like siblings after a while? Showering together keeps that sexual tension and connection alive. Plus, it's a great way to unwind and bond at the end of the day. Secondly, we have our little traditions. For example, I always cut Artie's hair. I'm no professional and have nearly cut his ear off a few times, making him look like a cartoon character. But he loves it when I cut his hair. <laughs> so, even though he sometimes ends up with a funny haircut, I'm his personal hairdresser. Oh, is that the matter already? Really? <laughs> no, you leave it like this, it's like a hammer. No, no, no. You can make triangle actually. <laughs> if you cut it out here. <laughs> Are you serious? Another tradition is hugging time. When one of us feels drained, we call for a hugging time. You should drop everything and cuddling bad for five to 10 minutes. The downside, we often end up napping. <laughs> One crucial thing, no matter how badly we fight, we never sleep in separate rooms. Even if we're mad, we sleep in the same bed. It helps us reconcile faster. Also, we avoid phones before bed and spend time talking or reading instead. This routine, especially when I put cream on Artie's face, is super relaxing and brings us closer. You know, he kind of shows his youngest child side in moments like these. When we lie down together, cuddling and rolling around, all the stress of the day just melts away. He looks so scary right now. I just killed this mosquito, motherfucker. Yeah. You, you look like a killer. I <laughs> I look like a killer? Mm. We do our best to live in the moment and make the most of it. We're living it up. Bouncing around from Korea to France, the US, Australia, Bali, Kuala Lumpur, and pretty much all over the world. We've traveled the world together and we're still living the digital nomad life, exploring different places around the globe. We also share hobbies. We've done woodworking and drumming together. Artie even joined me for pole dancing classes. Oh, we're both super into water. 
which is why we always live by the beach. We literally swim together almost every day. The moments when we play together, like children in the water, are so precious to us. <laughs> wow, you won gold medal. Thank you guys, thank you. We're also really into gaming together. Lately, we've been totally obsessed with playing Omok. Oh, I'm in a very, very, very comfortable position right now. Yeah. What? Okay, okay, okay. I even forgot like what we had. <laughs> Is it your strategy? Yes. <laughs> Making me so sick and tired of it. Because mm. you're best in this. Yes. <laughs> it's a moment. Really? Mm. I don't even think so. Artie is honestly terrible at Omog, but he always insists he can beat me. One common reason couples fight is housework, like small house chores. But for us, it's never been an issue. Artie handles the heavy lifting and I do most of the cooking. We naturally share the chores without strict rules and we never argue about who should do what. We love watching movies or documentaries while eating and cherish our conversation time. That's so funny. Why? Watching Friends in French. Joy's voice sounds really weird. 지금 프렌즈를 프랑스어로 보고 있습니다. 너무 이상해요. 조이 목소리가 이상해. 프랑스에서 프랑스어로 프랑스어를 보고 있어요. We're into the same movie genres too. Watching a Quentin Tarantino movie with some nachos, guacamole, and a glass of wine is our idea of a perfect way to end the day. Three, two, one. After meals, we work out together. Sometimes we do home workout, other times we hit the gym. We do quick 10 minute home workouts together, making it feel more like playtime than exercise. I totally bluffed about doing Taekwondo, but Artie still believes it to this day. When we hit the gym, I just vibe with whatever Artie's doing. It's been working though, I've dropped a ton of weight. Doing everything together just makes it more fun. Woke up looking beautiful. All I can is looking beautiful. Yeah, she's smiling, laughing beautiful. One unique thing about us, we don't separate finances. From day one, we've never split bills. We haven't split a bill in the 10 years we've been together. Even when we were friends, we never divided expenses. As a friend, I think we just paid when we thought it was our turn. After we started dating, we pooled our money and treated it as joint property. Everything we earn is joint property, and all expenses come from the same pot because we both act responsibly and spend on things that make each other happy. We never argue about money. Transactions complete. <laughs> we try not to be cheap to each other. Honestly, in my opinion, I think not separating our finances and treating everything as joint property has been the biggest factor in our success as a couple and in business. My growth is Artie's growth and his success is my success. It's a key element in building a stable foundation together, trusting and relying on each other to grow our assets. We started from scratch with zero help from our parents, so we hustled hard together through our 20s. But honestly, the financial stability we've got now is all about the trust and ride or die support we've given each other.
Our last two principles are kind of similar. First, plan small daily surprises. And second, go all out on special occasions. Every morning, Artie leaves a note by my bed for me to read as soon as I wake up. Sometimes it's a silly drawing. Other times, it's a sweet little message. It helps me to have a lovely way to start my day. For each other's birthdays, Christmas, New Year's, uh, Valentine's Day, and other special occasions, we always throw elaborate parties. It's just the two of us, but it's always so exciting. I once mentioned that I didn't really celebrate my birthday or events like graduation when I was younger. Since then, Artie has made it his mission to make those moments extra special for me. Our relationship has only grown stronger and more stable over time. After listening to our story, you might be wondering, why haven't they gotten married yet? <laughs> My love, mm. you're done. What do you mean? Awesome! Ah, <laughs> 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 um, that's a story for another video. There's a lot to say. If you know any long-term relationship tips, share them in the comments. Then, see you next time. RDM Banana Yo! <laughs> Such a cutie. Head and shoulders. <laughs> Feels so good. Can you just finish? <laughs> so annoying.